More than a third of employed women worry that their age will negatively affect their job, and the last full-size Kmart in the U.S. will close. Jane King has those stories and more in this morning's business report. Business report, sponsored by Advanced Technology Group. Good morning. The last full-size Kmart store in the continental U.S. is set to close in October, leaving only one downsize location remaining. Newsday reports a department store chain will shutter the full-size store in Bridgehampton, New York, on October 20th. When it closes, that will leave just a smaller Kmart in the Miami area open. Foot Locker celebrated its 50th anniversary and is looking to ensure that it will survive in the decades to come. Analysts say to reclaim its throne as the market leader in sneakers, Foot Locker must differentiate itself from competitors. And in fact, Foot Locker plans to relaunch its mobile app at the end of the year, and it recently unveiled a revamped loyalty program. Well, more records fell on Wall Street to start the week. The Dow Hundreds of thousands of South Carolina families rely on public assistance every month to put food on their tables. But a way to help make up for losses if those benefits are stolen could soon end. State House reporter Mary Green explains. In 2022, the federal government enacted a provision to allow states to reimburse recipients of SNAP, formerly known as the Food Stamps Program, if their benefits had been stolen. But unless Congress acts again and soon, that help could stop. We really don't know what Congress is going to do. Uh, we have sent our support in saying how much of this is needed, and this would be something that would allow us to continue to serve uh, children and families, especially those families that need help putting food on the table. The South Carolina Department of Social Services oversees the state's SNAP system. It says it's received just over 700 reports statewide of fraud involving stolen SNAP benefits from EBT cards in about the last month. To put that into perspective, DSS distributed SNAP benefits to nearly 300,000 households last month. So less than 0.1% of all recipient households in the state reported stolen benefits. But DSS adds one person with benefits stolen is one too many, and it encourages people receiving SNAP to protect their EBT cards like they would a credit or debit card. We always encourage folks to change their PIN number frequently for their EBT card and to make it something difficult. Not one, two, three, four, or four zeros, or nine, eight, seven, six. Make it something that is challenging. That reimbursement provision is set to expire after next Monday, September 30th. Even if it is not renewed, DSS still encourages SNAP recipients to file a report if their benefits have been stolen. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Like credit and debit cards, the FTC encourages SNAP recipients to check their EBT account for unauthorized charges. To Richmond County, where a man is wanted for aggravated battery, 37-year-old Charles Collier III is right there on your screen. He's also wanted for cruelty to children in the first degree. If you have any information, call the sheriff's office. And a man's in jail this morning on suspicion of shooting at a car and hitting a victim in the head Friday. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office says 19-year-old Tarek Ivey was arrested Saturday. Officials say four victims drop off, dropped off a 15-year-old girl at a home on Druid Park Avenue when several unknown people came outside and started arguing with them. An incident report says during the argument, someone started shooting at their car, hitting the victim in the right side of his head. Officials say the three other victims were not injured. Ivy is charged with four counts of aggravated assault, assault and a gun charge. Day six 